What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. Truck driver gets attacked by Las Vegas Metropolitan Police and Hotel Security. In this video right here, in these clips right here, man, it is so heartfelt for what this driver has went through. Shout out to Asian Mai for getting the interview with this young man. This driver needs some help, y'all. This driver needs legal representation, okay? He needs legal representation. Let's jump into this clip. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. But I Your name? Patrick Kelly, 12939. You throw me on the ground with I'm not doing anything wrong. What your what is your ID? One, two, nine. Three, Why you throw nine. me on the ground? I have already explained everything. What to you. department are you? LVMPD. What is that? Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Who is your supervisor name? He's right here. I'm asking which name? Sergeant Pickerell. Sir, you dropped your wallet. You also dropped some paperwork. Why you care now? You throw me on the ground. You yeah. handcuff me. This is hurt. Come talk to me for a second. Come talk to me for a second. All right, I'll let you go. Stay here. Uh, hey. I'm ordering you. Stay here, public servant. Are you willing to talk to me for a second or no? Yes. Okay. Explain to me. Explain to me what happened. I was sitting there on the phone with my brother. Mm -hmm. It was a chair next to me. On my left side, a lady walked out and using the chair. I said, no. And then she just grabbed it. I don't know where she grabbed it. Over there, over there. I don't know. After that, I've never seen her anymore huh? because I was facing that way. You have a camera? Okay. You go I, check. Can I explain to you what happened, what I think happened? Yes or no? Yes. So there was an auto burglary out in the parking lot, okay? A vehicle got broken into. One of the items that was taken was ear pods for the iPhone. So the victim pinged him on her phone, okay? So then what happened is it pinged. Did you guys find it? Hear me out, I'm trying to explain. I, I literally just got here when you saw me. No, did you guys find it no, over they, here? they did not. So he, just throw me on the person, right? Can I explain it to you? So the AirPods pinged right here. So when the officer went to talk to you and you jumped up and jumped back like that. No, 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 no. I was sitting there. Okay. When he's talking with me, I was on the phone with my two ear like this. I opened. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? I'm even asking, what are you looking for? He say a purse. I'm looking, no, there's a purse, an airport. I'm like, first he said a, a, a purse, now he's saying an airport. I said, no, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. So I'm minding my own business. He tried to grab me on the chair. So I, my reflex, well, back you, off like this. Let me because he's not, he's not like saying anything. Right, let me ask you this, but you know he's a police officer, right? I don't do anything wrong. Right, but you think you should have just sat there instead of jumping up like that? He tried to grab me. Look at, I'm hurt. I want an ambulance right now. Well, stuff is probably right here somewhere. Right? He throw me on the ground too. He yep. stepped on my neck. Yep. What's your name? Right. What's your name? Okay. I'm on Back public stand up. Okay. Okay. Here's the deal. Okay. I'm a guest over here. He is. I'm a guest over he here. Is. Okay. Prime right. security. You take a your name. Okay. I want your name. Sir, I'm a public servant. I want to give it to you. Yeah. Sir, what? You appoint a representative of the owner yeah. of the property. I hereby warn you that you are trespassing upon this property. I'm, I'm a guest. By Nevada Revised Statute 207.200. If you do not leave the premises immediately, you'll be subject to arrest for a misdemeanor. Your subsequent return to the premises after being duly warned. I'm not trespassing. I'm a guest. Your return will subject okay. you to immediate arrest for trespassing. All right. I'm a guest. What's your name? You're no longer a guest. What's your name? You've just been trespassed. Trespassed for what? I pay. What's your name? You have a supervisor for this guy? That that is the supervisor. Yeah, I want I want his name. I'm not a public servant. I don't have to give it to you. I'm a guest over here. 
No, you're not. You're trespassed. Trespass for what? Not you're paying not over here? Because fees. All right. They were a private entity. I'm the one that got the tech. Okay, I don't know what happened, all right? I'm trying to help you out. I'm the one that got the tech over here. Okay. I'm a guest. I'm not doing anything. I'm not bothering anyone. Let's do this. Why don't we go out to the valet and meet medical out there? All right? Let's do this. Okay. I right. this. Let's go to your room. I was room. sitting. He tried to grab me. Okay, let's go to your room and get yourself. So I back off. He threw me on the ground. Okay. It's a, it's a reflex. I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at what the officer did to me and the security guy. All right. Yeah. This is how my nurse treat me. Not a lot of doom in here. Wow. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Drivers, let me know your thoughts, man. Let me know your thoughts on this. This, mm -mm. this video right here, you know, hmm. we got to unpack this. All right. We got to unpack it. We got to analyze it. We got to see what's, what's, what's up here, man, because it's, it's so much wrong going on in this video. Like, from the tackle of the police, well, from from the initial, you know, from the initial report to the tackle of the police to the security guard jumping in, which don't know why, but it happened, to him getting kicked out of the hotel. Then for him to get mistreated at the hospital. What is going on? What is going on, drivers? I need help to unpack this. Now, first thing first, shout out to Asian Mai for getting the interview with this young man. Guys, go over to his channel. Uh, make sure y'all check out the interview. I will link it in the description below. And, um, uh, and uh, listen to, you know, how this driver was treated. But my thoughts on this, man, piece by piece, man, like the, when he mentioned the fact that the young lady came over and said, hey, you know, yada, 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 yada. I kind of figured out, like, maybe she dropped her AirPods and it pinged over there near him. Maybe she called. She was like, well, maybe she misplaced them. Last time she thought that it was in her car and somebody, you know, she must have left the door open or somebody must have got in her car and, and pinged her AirPods near the area where she was at. Okay. Okay, so she must have came over there and she must have been the one that was looking for them. Is anybody sitting here? Was anybody sitting there? No, 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 no. Okay, no problem. Bam, bam, boom, bye-bye. The next thing he knows, an officer comes over while he's on the phone. And I guess the conversation was like, you know, have you, like he said, have you seen a purse or AirPods or anything like that? And the driver like, Nah, I'm, you know, sitting here chilling, you know, talking to my peoples on the phone, not bothering nobody. Not bothering nobody, man. So, uh, uh, I, I guess the officer went to grab him. Natural reflexes, like, yo, what you doing? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what you doing? And then the officer got aggressive with him, which, you know, it happens. It happens. So, of course, the struggle ensues. Security guard, you know, thinking that the officer needs some help, which the officer didn't. I'm sure the officer had it handled, right? 
he comes over and put his foot on his neck. Now, everything kind of cooled down. The office, you know, the sergeant comes over here and explains what might have happened. Okay. And I'm watching this video like, bruh, that's what? Mistaken identity? That, that's not even mistaken identity, guy. That's it's not even mistaken identity. That's just that's just the officer assorting his authority. You know, and thinking that, well, maybe this guy don't belong there. Maybe he's trespassing. Maybe he's uh, uh, just sitting there, you know, whatever. He don't know. That's, that's what went on. And when the guy tried to explain, of course, you know, broken English and everything, you know, but after everything said and done in the in the in the chief of police, sergeant police, or whatever, he comes over to explain what he thinks happened. Then he's gonna turn around and be like, Well, don't you think you should have sat down instead of jumping up? Like, bro, I mean, natural reaction is like, you know, if a, if somebody comes and try to snatch your hand or your arm or anything like that, your natural reaction is gonna snatch back. You're going to jump back and be like, bro, what you doing? That's natural reaction right there. So how am I going to sit down and, and, and be calm? Knowing that the officer coming over here to snatch my hand up for no reason. There was no reason for that. All right, so we're going to unpack the other part where the security guard, Mr. Security Guard, that don't have, that, that I don't need to give my name. Yes, you do, bro. Yes, you do. If you representing this hotel that I'm paying for, the room, you're going to have to tell me your name, bro. You're going to have to tell me your name. And then he's going to break out a card talking about, well, by here, this, that, and the third, uh, you are now trespassing and yada, yada, yada. You're going to have to leave the premises and this, that, and the third. Bruh, if I paid my money, how am I trespassing? Y'all got me on the card. Y'all got my ID. I know how hotels work, right? You got to give your ID in order for them to, to register you. So you're registered, got a room, room number. And he didn't do nothing wrong. Drivers, help me out with this one right here, man. This is this is hurtful to see. Like, old boy didn't do nothing wrong. Like, literally, he's outside chilling on the phone with his brother by the pool at a hotel that he paid for for the night. For the, for the night. Like, bro, come on now. Come on, bro, ham. You really going to treat a guest that way? Dude, so that tells me that this hotel is a bum-ass hotel. So what we do need to know, we need to know the hotel. Yes, we need to know the hotel. We need to put the hotel on blast. Yes, so that all drivers will stay away and potentially anybody else that's interested in going to that hotel. They need to stay away because they're treating their guests that way. He has to leave. Why do we have to leave? He paid to stay there. Y'all got his money or a credit card. So now he's getting kicked out with no valid reason. And then the officers, the cops, couldn't even help the young man in this situation after it was proven that they was wrong. The cops even, the cops was wrong. I, I, I didn't hear no apologies or nothing like that. And the one cop going to say, well, this is a private entity and, you know, you, you're going to have to, bro, are you serious? So I need my money back. And then the last thing to unpack, man, he gets to the hospitals. 
Now, as I said, you guys go over there and, and check out the interview on the Asian My Show. Shout out to him for getting that, uh, getting that conversation. Um, but at the, even at the hospital, he was disrespected. He was disrespected at the hospital as well. Now, in the hospital, of course, you know, with, with, with rules, regulations, and stuff like that, you know, you can't record or anything like that. That's understandable. But if the camera is focused on you, that's kind of different. But then I understand, you know, he kind of like got the nurse in the frame and, you know, not supposed to, you know. But, man, this video right here is a lot. It's a lot to take in. So, yes, yes, help this driver. Help this driver out. Um, he needs representation. Big time. I see, I, I, I see a settlement coming from the hotel. I see a settlement coming from the, from the police department. Not so much from the hospital, but I do see it from the police department and the hotel. This driver needs help. He needs legal representation. And if anybody out there can help this driver with some legal uh, representation, definitely get your information over to the Asian My Show. Uh, the Gmail and all that other good stuff is on Asian My Channel. I will link this video. I will link the video in the description below so you guys can go over to the Asian My Show and check out this heartfelt conversation. This driver needs help, y'all. Let's help him out. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you let me on?